everyone, it's Meg. So I wanted to do a chat video just because I like doing chat videos and I had to get a bigger binder because my all my other groups that I love and all my other artists binder, um, I'm out growing it a bit because all the photo cards and the inclusions from the albums, I try to store them but I got to the point where it was kind of, I was at my limit so I got a bigger binder and I had to put all this stuff in there anyway so I figured while I do that I can do a little chat video just about K-pop things so yes this is my everyone else binder I'm moving to a three inch now so that is fun but yeah there's been a lot of comebacks y'all there's been a lot of comebacks there's been a lot of versions of comebacks and it's been quite a time um, honestly, there's like a lot of things that I just haven't been able to buy because there's, there's too much. <laughs> there's too much happening. There's too much going on. I feel like if I just collected for one group, it would be like easier for me to keep up. But since I keep up with so many different artists and groups, I'm constantly trying to figure out, okay, who's having a comeback? Is it a physical release? How many versions are there? What can I like, what can I do basically? Like, what am I going to buy? And for me, I will, I will really only do like multiple versions regularly for my ultimates. Now for a group like CLC that hasn't had a comeback in a minute, I'm looking at YouCube. <laughs> um, for a group like CLC, I would do multiple versions for a comeback for them if they did have multiple versions because I want to support them and I love CLC. So in those instances, I would. I would never say that I won't ever do multiple versions for a group that I don't consider to be my ultimates because I can't have like 300 ultimates but I try to not do that as much because money <laughs> money money is quite a bit and you know same thing for Japanese releases like there's a lot of Japanese releases there's no way I can get like a box set of albums or like all of the Japanese versions of all the groups that I like all of their albums it's just it's too much it's all it's all a little bit too much so i just try to prioritize the best i can i know there's always that fear of you know what if something goes out of stock what if it goes out of print what are you gonna do but for me, I've loved K-pop for so long. Like there's so many second gen groups that I like. And for the most part, I've been able to find pretty much everything that I've been looking for. Um, whether or not I've been able to buy it is a different story because money's not endless. <laughs> so I've been able to buy a good amount, but there's still things of course that I am missing for, for example, for Shiny and Girls' Generation but I know where to find them. So in that, in that instance, I'm not concerned about getting things right away for the most part for most groups because a lot of groups, their stuff doesn't go out of print right away. So if I have to wait, I do feel comfortable waiting. Um, but yeah, I try not to buy with the with the mindset of this might go out of print, so I need to buy right away if I'm not able to. So for example, my washing machine broke <laughs> during quarantine a couple of weeks ago and that was really expensive it, it cost quite a bit of money to buy a new washing machine but i needed a new washing machine so life stuff will happen and just completely change all of your plans and also for me i collect non-album things for certain groups like for shiny I bought a really beautiful photo book that should be coming um, this week sometime and I'm really really happy about it because shiny doesn't get like a lot of like big photo book things so this is really special um, but that photo book <laughs> cost me around 83 84 dollars including shipping so yeah it's very especially if you're an international fan that those costs do add up they definitely do add up and it's quite a bit of money to to be spending so yeah that's maybe um four albums if you have a good discount maybe five albums but that's a good amount of albums worth for a photo book but i love shiny i need the photo book <laughs> the photo book was calling to me and i'm so excited i was so happy to have it but 
yeah, I just, I try to buy the things that I like. And I can't buy everything that I like. I think it's impossible. <laughs> There's no way to buy everything that you want. Unless, I don't know, you you're, you have a lot of money and you can do that. Um, but I, I can't buy everything that I want. Especially not right away. So I do try to prioritize. And I make a little wish list in my mind of albums that I want to get later. So, like, I got some of those albums recently. My Victon album, my Fromis album were two of those. I'm still looking for Dal Shabit's album because I love naturalness. So that's one that I am kind of still looking for. I have seen it, but by the time I go to get it, it's already sold, which makes me sad. <laughs> but like those things, it's, I feel like it's always possible to find the items that you're looking for. Now, whether or not they're priced for reasonably is a different is a different question which yeah I've been seeing some of these photo card prices lately and it's like uh, you know <laughs> I don't I don't know about people doing quote your own price for album photo cards uh my own price for an album photo card is like ten dollars <laughs> maybe eleven or twelve but like then once once we get to like 13 14 we're getting we're getting to a we're getting to a place um but yeah like people well, price cards for like $18, $19, $20, and that makes everything more expensive. So then it feels like you do have to buy all of these albums because if not, then you're just going to have to pay $18 for a photo card anyway, which it shouldn't be that way, honestly, because you're basically paying the same amount for the card that you would pay for the album. So in theory, you should just get the album. Um again <laughs> but yeah the the photo card prices they're 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 outrageous honestly i don't understand i really don't understand for an out of print album sure um like i mean that's that's fair game that's the market what can you do if the album isn't printed anymore and you can't go buy it then that's fine it is what it is um not that i agree with the pricing necessarily depending on what the item is but you know, in that instance, I can't go out and get it super easily, so yeah. But if we're talking about an album that I could get at Target, <laughs> and people are selling those photo cards for $20, $25, I mean, the, the photo card can be super cute, but like, why? Just why? I don't, I don't understand. I really don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me why that happens. <sighs> I just it makes me so sad <laughs> it makes me so so sad and it's so hard for for collectors too especially when you first start collecting um for like photo cards and stuff and you're looking on ebay and you think ebay prices are like the real prices they're not <laughs> they're absolutely not please don't buy your photo cards on ebay unless like the person is super reasonable who's you know selling those cards but a lot of the times on ebay they'll be two to four times higher than what the actual value should be just because they're trying to make a profit and i mean everyone is <laughs> trying to make a profit but there's a difference between pricing a card at like ten dollars and pricing a card at like thirty five dollars or quote your own price it just yeah <laughs> that makes everything so much more expensive and so much harder and it doesn't need to be honestly it really really doesn't need to be that way but yeah there's been a lot of comebacks lately I'm 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 just like I'm super nervous because I know Super M. I can feel Super M coming. I can feel BTS coming. I know BTS's memories is coming. <laughs> I I know it. I know it. Um, we're gonna get Taemin come back soon, and there's rumors of new like NCT unit and. <sighs> my my wallet is is going oh wow <laughs> but i mean i never spend more than i'm comfortable with you know i'll make little jokes like oh my wallet is crying <laughs> and why and you know but i never spend more than i feel comfortable spending if it's too much to me i will not buy it um even if it's a group i love if i'm not able to buy it i'm not able to buy it and it doesn't mean that you're not a good fan if you don't buy all the versions because it's very expensive to collect albums, so I hope you never feel like you have to buy everything to show how much of a fan you are, because you could have one album or, you know, 600 albums, and your love for the artist is the same. It's just the physical thing. It's just the physical thing. You don't need to have the stuff 
to have the love for the music. The love for the music exists no matter how much stuff you have. So yeah, I'm very, very excited though. Very excited for all of the comebacks. Very excited to watch this binder grow because I have a bunch of new stuff to put away for all of my other loves and Somi's having a comeback. I'm so excited. Can we, listen, Somi needs more than one comeback a year. <laughs> I'm just saying, Somi needs more than one comeback a year and I really wish that Sunmi would get another physical because it's been so long since I've been able to buy a physical album for Sunmi. There's promo albums, but it's just, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't spend that kind of money. I mean, they're beautiful and she signed them and they're gorgeous, but that's hundreds of dollars and that that's bills. <laughs> that, that's like a whole bill or two or three. So yeah, I figured I'll just, I've made a couple of changes in like some of my organizing, nothing too like drastic. Um, I've just been trying to make some room for some groups and things for photo cards because like, I'm trying to have a rhyme or reason for how things are organized, but since there's so many groups in here, it, it kind of just, it kind of goes where it goes. I did try to put groups whose photo card collections I don't see really growing, um, mostly because for photo cards that are Johnny and Jungwoo, I don't collect with a purpose. I just buy albums. So for EXID, like my EXID collection is pretty much done for albums with the exception of Hippity Hop, which is never happening. <laughs> never. And it makes me so sad because that's the dream album, but it's just not going to happen. <sighs> Same thing with Kristen V. My FX album is, um, album collection is complete. Um, I do want to get more albums from for Ailey. Um, Cherry Bullet's up to date. So those are the those are the collections that are pretty much either up to date or like I don't see the photo card amounts really increasing to um, a lot of, of cards um, so then I just organized with April and purple back and eyes one and then black pink and then I gave Momoland their own page because I, I got a couple Momoland albums within the last couple weeks. So there's a bunch of cards for them. And then Everglow has their own page. And I think that's pretty much mainly the mo the changes on here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I gave... I, I This is pretty much the same. But I did end up giving Idol their own page because... I definitely see Idol growing. Um, I see CLC growing. Cube. <laughs> Cube. I feel like I just need to talk to Cube for a second. I really do. Um, this is all the same. Um, Stray Kids will definitely grow for sure. So I'll have to add another page for, um, for the new album. And for the other boy groups, I do have some room to grow here. So I have... Um, 17 cards here. I moved my GOT7 cards. Um, day 6 and Chungmin. And then here are my GOT7 cards. And my Just2 cards. And then I put one S and only one of on the same page because it kind of works out for right now. And then all of these back here are just extras, like postcards and stuff. So yeah, I've been trying to organize this better. <laughs> I do a lot of my organizing off camera. It kind of helps calm me down when I'm feeling a little anxious to just kind of rearrange things in my binder. And when I feel that way, I don't really feel like filming because I'm not like in a good headspace. So I do a lot of like that organizing off camera. But I do like having these chat videos and I would love to know which comebacks you're excited about, which comebacks you've bought, which comebacks you want to buy. I know that um, Red Velvet um, Irene and Solgi, they're having promotions for Naughty, so I'm so excited for that. Uh, I just, I love them so much. So, yes, tell me. Tell me whose comebacks you loved, whose comebacks you're excited for. You know, if you collect ATs, tell me how you're collecting ATs for this album because there's three versions and there's all these member cards and MMT has a pre-order set and K-Town For You has a pre-order set. And I think there's like one or two other pre-order sets. I would love to know like how, how, how this is gonna, how I, I need to follow, I need to follow your, your journey because I want to follow you. I love, I love watching people complete their collections. It makes me so happy because I'm not able to collect 
looked like that for a lot of people. Really just Johnny and Jungwoo. And Johnny is just album cards. I can't, I can't collect for more than that. It would be too overwhelming for me. So I love watching people collect like for full group or for members that I don't collect for. It's nice to watch your collections grow. So if you do have um, a channel, let me know. I would love to subscribe to you and watch your collection grow. But yeah, tell me what you're excited about because for me, music is my happy place. Music gets me excited. Music makes me happy. So all of these comebacks and things, although I make a lot of jokes on Twitter <laughs> about like, why are you doing this to me? I'm very happy to have the music. It's a comfort to me. It it helps me feel connected and it helps me feel good. And I hope it does the same for you. So this is my little chat video for today. And I hope all of you are healthy and safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!